Azure Containers Traditionally, if you had to install applications, then the first thing that we had to do is to create, either a virtual machine, or a physical machine. Once the machine is ready, you will then have the dependencies installed, and then the application sits on top of the dependencies. So, we create multiple layers, starting from the application dependencies. Then comes the operating system. And finally, the hardware. Now, containers and virtual machines, have a similar resource isolation, and allocation benefits, but they function a little bit differently, because, containers will virtualize the operating system. The virtual machines will virtualize the hardware. Containers are more portable and efficient. Now as you see in the picture here there is a container managing application, or container engine, for example, Docker, which can manage multiple containers. Each container will then host application, and its dependencies, as you see in the picture. Application 1 and 2 have different set of dependencies, or binaries, or libraries, but still they are sitting on the same virtual machine. Containers take less space than virtual machine. Whereas virtual machines are abstraction layers, on the physical hardware. Each virtual machine includes a full copy of the operating system, the application necessary binaries, and libraries, which will take tens and hundreds of gigabytes together. Virtual machines can also be slow to boot. But containers are very quick, they can handle several applications and require very less virtual machines, and few operating systems. So containers and virtual machines have similar resource isolation but function differently, because containers virtualize the operating system, instead of virtualizing the hardware. Containers are portable, efficient and very quick in running the application.